Hello traders and welcome to getting started with the Ninja Trader 8 video series. In this video we're going to talk about opening and using the Super Dom. Some of the topics that we're going to go ahead and cover is opening a new Super Dom, understanding price ladder columns, use order quick buttons, and submit custom orders. As a reminder, trading does carry significant risk. And all information in this video is provided for educational purposes only. It is not offer or recommendation to trade future stocks, options, or Forex. To open a new Super Dom, go ahead and open up the control panel. Go to New. Go to Super Dom. Left click. And now you'll see the Super Dom is loaded here. The data is current here. And as you notice, if I hover over the price ladder, this is what this is called as the price ladder, it'll go ahead and stop moving. And if I move my mouse cursor off, it'll go ahead and be, become dynamic here once again. Now, with the price ladder, each rung of the ladder will be one tick. So as you move higher, you have one, one tick higher increments, and as you move lower, it moves lower in one tick increments. On the left-hand side and the right-hand side, you'll see the order or the depth of market and it shows you how much buying and selling pressure is here in the market. These are orders parked at specific prices. So for instance, we have 313 orders parked here at 2897. The left side is the buy side or the bid side. The right side is the sell side or the offer side. Now you can go ahead and you'll notice that you'll have a couple buttons down here at the bottom. You can go ahead and either buy at the market or sell at the market. If I go ahead and buy, you'll see that I have one position down here, one contract, and I am long with the green background. If I am short, it'll be one contract with the red background. You can change the size of the contract by going to the quantity and simply typing in whatever contract that you like. So if you want to go ahead and trade four contracts or five, just simply type it in. You can also go ahead and use the order pad here. So you have quick buttons. You can go up to 10 contracts. Here if you like. You can also go to the quantity, quantity pad and configure, going into configure and use, you know, change how many increments that you want. So you can maybe do one, two, three, four contracts and that'll go ahead and reflect itself here in the quantity pad. You can change the time and force. Go to date order, good till cancel, or good till a specific date. You can go ahead and close the position here. Other things you can do with the Super Dom is hover over any price level that you want to go ahead and go long, for instance, and just simply left click. And that'll go ahead and place a limit order here in the market. You can go ahead and cl left click on the number of contracts there and increase the number of contracts here if you like. So I have five contracts here. I can go ahead and hit the X cancel. and cancel the order here as well. Same thing on the left hand side and go ahead and left click and place a limit order on the sell side or cancel it there. I can go to the left side here and hold down the control button and left click here once again and that'll submit a market if touched order here on the buy side. Same thing on the right side and go ahead and hold down the control button and hit and left click and it'll put in two market if touch orders here. I can go ahead and cancel these cancel these as well. It just got filled on that one. Go ahead and close that one out. So you can go ahead and put market if touch orders again by hitting control and the left and left clicking at whatever price level that you want to go ahead and place that market if touched order. Finally, you can also go ahead and reverse a position down here with the quick button and close a position here as well. And one more point, you can go ahead and change instruments however you like. So you can go to instrument here, go to the futures drop down list. You can go ahead and select 6E, and that'll go ahead and update to the 6E contract here. 